First at four, breaking news in D.C. Thank you for joining us on WUSA 9 News and WUSA 9 Plus. I'm Simone D'Alba. In just the last hour, we have learned that current Ward 7 D.C. Council member and former D.C. Mayor Vincent Gray is suffering from dementia. His team announcing that he won't vote on any legislation for the rest of his term because of this diagnosis. Uh, Rafael Sanchez Cruz joining us live from the Wilson Building with more on this groundbreaking decision 12 days before Election Day. Rafa, tell us what you're hearing. Yeah, some well, people here at the Wilson Building are saying that this news is hard to process, but Council Member Vincent Gray's declining health has been a focus of concern for both colleagues and constituents. It was his health issues that stopped him from running for re-election this year. And so last year, Chairman Phil Mendelson removed him as the chair of the Health Committee. And back in May, he also announced that he had suffered a stroke back in April. Now, Gray has 68 days remaining in office. He was sworn into office again as a Ward 7 council member in 2017 and also he of course served as the D.C. mayor from 2011 to 2015. In that statement issued by Gray's office it reads every person in a position of responsibility who has cognitive decline must make their own decision about how and when to adjust end quote. That statement letter reads quote I do not want to cast a vote on an issue which I may not be able to fully consider end quote. Now his his decision to not vote on legislative matters comes after yesterday a D.C. judge moved to appoint a guardian and conservator over Gray, finding that he's no longer capable of handling his personal and financial reports. This according to the Washington Post. Now, Gray's team says they will continue serving residents. It's a message that was echoed by at-large council member Robert White just about 45 minutes ago. Let's listen. Ward 7 has um, uh, an effective uh, team of staff uh, in that office right now. Uh, I'm excited about incoming council member Wendell Felder. I think he's going to bring a lot of energy and ideas. Um, and I'm an at-large member, so I represent uh, residents in Ward 7. I've been trying to stand in the gap as, as much as possible, but I want residents in Ward 7 to know uh, that they are represented. Council member Robert White also told me that he is looking Vincent Gray at his colleague and says he deserves all the flowers. He considers him an effective and prepared legislator. He even said that he admitted that Vincent Gray is way better of a legislator than he is. We're still getting reactions. Of course, this news coming just again so close to the election and it's hard news to process because of the legacy of this longtime DC politician. I'm live at the Wilson Building, Rafael Sanchez Cruz, WUSA 9. Boy, you said it, Rafa, the legacy of his public service, and also you just can't help but feel for Vincent Gray and, of course, for his family as well. Thank you.